Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I did fake tan yesterday so my neck is very brown compared to my face and I'm very sporty but this is going to be a day in the life of what I'm going to do. The sun is out, I just want to be a bit more productive especially because we're all just stuck in and it gets really like, it just gets crazy doesn't it being stuck in. We really take things for granted I think like shops and just seeing family we all just take it for granted so this is just going to be something that I do, this is a day in life basically of what me and Ollie are going to do and just try and keep myself busy, do a lot more because we have just been laying in bed and doing nothing and it's really bad so I just want to just be a bit more productive. If you are new please hit that subscribe button, like this video and comment down below because I'd love to have you. Um, hopefully I'm keeping you guys entertained trying to get these videos out um, but I've just got the table out of the shed the chairs and I'm just going to wipe it over and get that out so we can just sit out there because it's not boiling out there but it's warm enough to sit out there and make sense so I'm just going to get a cleaner this is just a floor in here with some warm water and then a microfiber cloth so I'm just going to go and clean the table <laughs> So now I have cleaned that and got that up. I look absolutely crazy, but this is real life. So I've just cleaned the table and got the chairs out. Um, I'm gonna try and make an ice coffee. I bought some ice yesterday in Sainsbury's. That is basically the only place we can go is food shop. So I did a nice food shop in Sainsbury's. Hopefully you guys can see, 140 pound later. Um, so I'm going to try and make an iced coffee. Let's give, this, let's give this a go. So basically to make this, I'm just going to make a cold coffee. So I haven't got any creamer. So I'm just going to be using my decaf coffee here. I can only have decaf. So I've just popped it in here. So a teaspoon of that. And then I'm just going to take my hot water. And I only fill it like halfway. So that will do. And then the rest, I'm going to add milk. Obviously, I would use a creamer, but do we sell creamers over here in the UK? I swear all these fancy Starbucks creamers and whatever creamers they use in the US, we can't get here, which is really annoying. Um, but yeah, there's my coffee. And then I've just got a plastic cup here with some ice cubes in, and I'm just going to pour that into here. I'm probably going to get this everywhere. Maybe I'm in a jar. Got it everywhere. Look at that. What's the matter? Um, I want out one more thing. What do you want out? My blue bike. Bring your blue bike. Have your blue bike out, right? And then we just need to let it get cold. So I don't really know if that's how you make iced coffee, but I've basically just made a normal coffee, poured it into a cup with ice cubes. So there you go. Because it's not really sweet, and I like my cold coffee sweeter than I do my hot, I'm going to try and put a bit of this vanilla extract in. It might be horrible, I don't know. So let's just stick a little bit in and see what happens. I know you can get coffee um, syrups, hardly and stuff like that, so I don't have any of them. Let's see if that's made any difference. Not really. Oh, actually, yeah, I can taste it. I can, I can taste it. I the taste. Yum. So, this is just going to be me chatting and bringing you on, bringing you through my, my day, basically. Went to Sainsbury's yesterday and it was actually really, really scary. Like, there was hardly no one in there. And it's just scary, isn't it, to know that 
I don't know with what's going on it's just scary I felt like walking around there I had itchy eyes and a runny nose and I was getting all panicky and I was just like no I'm fine it's probably hay fever when it gets that like little bit warmer my eyes my nose run like I'm so bad with hay fever and so is my other half so I was like there's just a lot of flowers in Sainsbury's it's just that so very nice it's a win-win also for breakfast i just had my coconut yogurt and some passion fruit i absolutely love passion fruit um and i've done nothing really i've just got up i had a coffee from breakfast and then me and ollie climbed back in bed for an hour and we've just been chilling really um i was just going through all my emails and just productive stuff and then i started watching a couple of youtube videos um and i definitely want to paint my room i really really want to paint it i'm just bored I get really bored really easy. Also, I've just ordered a grey grout pen to do the grout in between of my tiles in my kitchen. I just think it'd be nice, them grey instead of white. Well, not really white at the minute. They're like a magnolia. Just because when food gets in there, it doesn't have to stick and look dirty. So I think if I put grey there, that might look really nice with the walls. I don't know. I was just buying stuff because I was bored, so... We shouldn't do that should we but when we're when we're like we are there's not much you can do um but yeah i just want this to sort of be a a vlog i haven't done one for a while have i, I do a lot of sit downs at the moment um yesterday in sainsbury's we couldn't find any fresh meat there was no mints there was no chicken breast there was no nothing so i think a trip to a butcher's if they're still open i don't even know um but i managed to get some a pie for dinner, some sausages, some frozen chicken, like breaded chicken, that stuff that I sort of managed to get. Um, but I am peckish. I'm always hungry. I bought some cake mix. Shall I show you guys? Why not? We're going to sit here and get fat anyway. <laughs> so I bought the Betty Crocker. And um, these are the salty caramel brownies. Oh my God, this mix was three quid. And then I got the red velvet cake mix. I've done this one before. It's amazing. And then also, oh my nose, it's running. And then a rich creamy cheese style icing for the, ugh, I could eat this. It's so freaking good. I love it. And then I bought some sprinkles just in case Ollie wanted to put some sprinkles on it. I don't know. Um, when I make them cakes, when I make these, I don't make a, a big cake like this picture shown. I do them in cupcakes because they're so much nicer. But I thought we, I might as well get them, give us something to do. We're really, really bored. Um, but I'll just give you a little move. Starting off here, quite a lot of milk. And we got some pepperonis that I got from Sainsbury's. Some carrots, some peppers, some lettuce, some baby tomatoes. A cucumber there as well because I fancy like a salad. Um, got oh, bottles of water, fresh juice, that's shandy, that's coke. I don't drink that. Some coleslaw, some more of my favourite yogurts in the back. Ollie wanted these Rolo mousse ones, so we picked up them. That's lettuce, some fresh chicken, more water, milky bar, mousse yogurts, so good. Sausage rolls, some bacon, and this is the only sort of meat I could pick up. Sausage rolls and sausage rolls sausages and then this looks really good as well so i picked up this oh that looks good might have that for dinner um dessert and then a steak and gravy puff pastry pie some fruit so we've got some strawberries some grapes some yogurts and some pizzas for ollie for a quick night you okay yeah you playing yeah just showing everyone what we got from sainsbury's yesterday yeah yeah, what well, did you? Get Go on then. Okay. Um, in here we just got crisps. Um, what else in here? Some chicken noodle soup. They literally had two no, left, so I got them. A hunter chicken sauce. I always have to stock up on this because they always, always run out of it. It must be really popular. It's only a cheap one, but it's good. Um, some coconut milk for our curries. I've been loving putting that in the curries recently. It's so creamy. And then I bought some corn flour because me and Ollie are going to have a go at making. Uh, it's a bit like a Play-Doh, but you use corn flour and hair conditioner. Loads of people have been doing it, so I thought I'm going to give it a go. Um, but yeah, 
Oh, and down there, Papa Dom's more tea bags, potatoes, and yeah. Oh, but yeah, that's basically what I got. Some bread. I picked up my favourite Maybelline foundation as well. That was oh, that was in Sainsbury's, luckily. Um, picked up some eyelashes, and I picked up this banana hair mask. Oh my god, I used it last night on my hair, and it was amazing. I love anything banana scent, especially for the hair. And then in the cupboard, I don't know if you remember, but I used to, when I first started the channel, I used to have these a lot and then I stopped just because they are quite pricey. And um, these are the Nesquik Gold Cappuccinos, but obviously decaf. Um, and they're really, really nice. I had one of them this morning. Um, but yeah, I need to do some washing up because there's a lot of washing up on my side. A lot. <laughs> just going to pop some balsamic vinegar on it i think i'm saying it right just i freaking love this stuff on like salads so i'm just popping a bit on there and i'm gonna go and enjoy this masterpiece this is oliver's he's got cucumber a little bit of red pepper cold sauce like pepper very it's not much. spicy though and a sausage roll so there you go there you go darling Take it then. Now I'm going to sit and enjoy this lovely, crunchy, beautiful salad with my iced coffee. So I'm going to make these. I've had my lunch. And obviously when you have a salad, you need something sweet. Sorry if you can hear the washing machine. I'm going to make these salted caramel brownies. So these go so all it says that you need is one medium free-ranged egg 35 mils of oil or 42 grams of salted butter 65 mils of water four tablespoons and one teaspoon baking and then a baking pan baking paper but i'm going to be using this so it doesn't stick hopefully that stays we've got that and i haven't got a mixing bowl guys so i've got to use a saucepan it's all good, it's all good. So I'm just going to empty the cake mix. Oh, if I can do it. Empty this cake mix into here. Sorry, I haven't got a tripod, guys, so not the best angle. So, in there. So then, you need an egg. Egg into there, like so. Then it says you need three 35 mils of, has this got mils on it? I'm guessing that. Estimation is normally pretty good. So anyway, 65 mils of water, which is four tablespoons. So be right back. A wooden spoon to mix this goodness together like oh my god this looks so good i haven't preheated the oven let's turn the oven on what does the oven need to be on prepare is 12 minutes baking time is 22 25 minutes serve 16 jesus oh. everywhere yeah 
outside. Out the front, yeah, but we're not allowed out there, are we? We're only allowed in the house or in the garden. You're very lucky that you've got a garden because there's lots of children that don't have a garden that can't play out. Why? And they're stuck in because we're not allowed out, are we, because of this virus? Look at that. Look, when they do get the virus. So, I've got two. I think that's going to be too big. Let's try this one. Put that one there. This one's like smaller. I don't know how these are going to turn out, guys. I really, really don't. Hopefully they're going to be yummy. Caramel, salted caramel on it. You need to do a layer, drizzle this on and then do another layer, so. Oh my God, look at that, that looks amazing. Where's my knife? I need to invest in some scissors because I don't have no scissors. Right, guys, look at that. <gasps> Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh, I think this is to melt it, but I'm not gonna. How do I get this thing out of here? Jeez, I'm gonna have to just squeeze it out, and I? Look at that. Oh my god. So, I'm gonna squeeze this caramel onto this. Hello. And now I'm just going to sort of move it about a bit. <laughs> so good. So, so, so good. Right. Now. Oh, I wish I had a bit of on you guys so you could see, but that's where we're at. And I'm just going to pop the rest of this brownie mix on top, like it says. That is what we've done. Hopefully that's gonna cook all right. So I've done a layer of the brownie, salted caramel, and then like another layer, and I've just used a spoon to sort of squash it all down, but let's put it in the oven. Oliver's made a lot of mess outside because the garden's so muddy, especially in the winter. And when it rains a lot, our gardens flood, like there's nowhere for the water to go, and it becomes very muddy. I literally hate the garden, but he's actually cleaning it up, look. Were you sweeping, Ollie? What? Were you sweeping? Yeah. Good boy. Our brownie is now done. It looks like a marble cake. It looks so freaking good. I've just got to leave it to set. Oh my God, I cannot wait to eat that. Look at that. Yum. What do you think of the salty caramel brownie? good yeah it's so good guys and it's still really like dewy like look at that oh my god it's so yummy it's a little warm but it's so good i've just currently hoovered and washed all the floors also before i did that i wiped down the sofas the windowsill the table tv unit that table so giving that a little clean a little freshen up so i've hoovered and washed all the floors in here made up made sure all the wash up was done and these are the beautiful flowers that i got for mother's day the nice vase and flowers how cute so i popped them there instead of putting them on the table in the front room because the sun's there i think it'll be good for them um but yeah i've even unlocked all my floors little Noe. hey baby this is the garnier ultimate blends hair food banana oh my god it smells insane so it says here that you can sort of leave it in your hair use it as a hair mask or even put it in your hair when it's dry but i washed my hair and then i popped this in and left it in for about 20 minutes and then rinsed it out and it was so soft and it smelled amazing 
So I got this from Sainsbury's for six pounds, so highly, highly recommend this. Also, yesterday I cleaned my makeup brushes. I can't be quiet because he's taking a nap in my bed. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just show you. I cleaned like all of my brushes. And then I also bought these nice lashes from Sainsbury's. I love the fact that they're like cat eye, like winged effect. So there's no point putting makeup on now. It's, it's a lot later now and I don't, just don't think there's any point. So I think we're just going to chill out a bit like he's doing, really. So guys, it's a little bit later. It's now, what is it? Nearly four o'clock, I think, or 10 past four, something like that. Um, I've now got dinner in the oven. We're just having that really nice chicken that I showed you earlier. Showed you earlier some nice chips and some coleslaw for dinner. Um, Ollie had a little nap earlier. Literally 20 minutes. It was not long at all. 20 minute nap. Um, and I just catched up on a bit of YouTube. Um, I've now got all of his bedding in the wash. Getting that all washed and clean for him. So I did mine the other day. And I've just washed all the blankets that go on the sofa. Just to freshen everything up. Keep the house smelling beautiful um but yeah i've washed my face and it's gone really red this is what happens when you have a squeezing session you squeeze all your blackheads out um then we'll go down eventually um but yeah i thought i'd end it here i don't want it to be too long for you all. i don't want to hopefully this doesn't bore you hopefully it's something for you guys to watch or just a little bit of in my day and what my day looks like at the minute being in quarantine but it is what it is, but I just want to say, please stay safe, stay in like they're telling us, only go out if you need to, which is if you need food or you need the pharmacy, but just be really, really careful when you do. And yeah, I really all do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash a thumbs up, please hit that subscribe button and comment down below and I will see you all soon in a new video. Bye guys. It doesn't matter if it's true I've got a feeling love will give us what we like The world is waiting up The world is waiting half a step beyond our door yeah. And if it's not enough